everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how to identify different breeds of rabbits. This is really useful in case you buy a rabbit from a shelter where they didn't know their rabbit breed. I know in my shelter they classify their rabbits as domestic short hair, domestic medium hair, or domestic long hair, and that's not the right classification. Knowing your rabbit's breeds can also be helpful so you know about the health conditions that they're likely to get and you know about their energy levels. The ARBA, or the American Rabbit Breeder Association, currently recognizes 49 different breeds of rabbits. And the BRC, or the British Rabbit Council, currently recognizes over 60 breeds of rabbits. With all these different rabbit breeds, it might seem difficult to find out what type of bunny you have. But today, I'm going to break it down to the basics. Like I said before, there are so many different breeds of rabbits, so I won't be able to cover all of them. But through this video, you'll hopefully have a better idea of what type of rabbit that you have. Without further ado, let's get started. First, start by looking at your rabbit's ears. Are they upright or floppy? If your rabbit's ears are floppy, congratulations, you have a lop bunny. There are five different species of lop rabbits. To identify your lop rabbit, look at its fur. Is it long or short? If your lop-eared rabbit has long fur, congratulations, you have an American fuzzy lop. If your rabbit doesn't have long fur, then your next step is to weigh them. If your rabbit weighs between 3 to 5 pounds, then you have a Holland lop bunny. This is the smallest species of lop rabbits. If your rabbit weighs just over that, between 4 to 6 pounds, then you have a mini lop rabbit, which despite its misleading name, is only the second smallest breed of lops. If you have a rabbit that's over 10 pounds, then you have one more step. Look at your rabbit's ears and their body. If their ears are very long and their body is very slender and thin, then you have an English lop. If their ears are average and they have a chunkier, more muscular body, then you have a French lop. If your rabbit, on the other hand, has upright ears, your job is going to be a little bit more difficult. Start by looking at their fur. Is it long, short, or woolly? If your rabbit has woolly fur, then it's a sort of angora. If your angora buddy weighs over 10 pounds, then you either have a German angora or a giant angora. There's much controversy about whether German angoras are their own breed, so I'll leave the decision up to you. If your angora bunny is on the smaller side, then look at their fur. If their fur is extremely shiny, then you have a satin angora. If their fur isn't shiny, then look at their ears. Do they have hair that goes up all the way to their ears? If they do, then you have an English angora. English angora are also the smallest breed of angora. If your rabbit's fur doesn't go all the way up to its ears, then you have a French angora, which are just a little bit longer than the English angoras. If your upright-eared rabbit doesn't have woolly fur, then it could have long fur. If your rabbit has long fur, then you either have a Jersey woolly or a lionhead rabbit. To tell them apart, look at your rabbit's fur and decide whether it grows downwards or outwards. If your bunny's fur grows downwards, then you have a Jersey woolly. If it grows outwards, then you have a lion head. If your rabbit has upright ears and short fur, then you're going to want to look at their fur one more time. Is it very plush and velvety or is it extremely shiny? If their fur is really shiny, then you either have a satin rabbit or a mini satin. Satin rabbits range between 8 to 11 pounds, and mini satins are between 3 to 5 pounds. If your rabbit's fur is really plush and velvety, then you have a type of Rex rabbit. Next, weigh them. If your Rex rabbit weighs around 7 to 10 pounds, then you have a standard Rex rabbit. But if they weigh between 3 to 5 pounds, then you have a mini rex. If you still haven't been able to classify your rabbit, or it's a rabbit with upright ears, short fur, and normal fur, then it could be one of many different species. Rabbits like these are really hard to classify, and almost impossible unless you get your rabbit DNA tested. If you have a rabbit like this and they weigh under 6 pounds, I would just call them a dwarf mix. If you have a rabbit like this that isn't under 6 pounds, I would just call them a standard mix. At the end of the day, rabbits are just rabbits and breed is nothing more than a name. Although breed can affect some things like energy level and health, 
This mainly depends on your personal rabbit. So nothing changes just because you know or don't know the breed. I hope this video was helpful and they were able to learn something new. Let me know if you're able to classify your rabbit using my method. Also in the comment section below, be sure to tell me what's your favorite breed of rabbit. I would have to say mine is either a Jersey Woolly, a Holland Lop, or a Netherlands Dwarf. Also, I want to make this channel more interactive for you guys, cause that's what it's all about. So this week I have a poll, and you guys can decide what you'd like to see next. Whether it's the truth about big rabbit cages, or rabbit enrichment ideas. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time.